Good morning, everyone. I'm Alicia Williams, Assistant Director of Wayne State University, Another Chance. Welcome to the first virtual graduation celebration of Wayne State University, Another Chance program. We are so excited to be able to honor and celebrate our graduates from the year 2020 through 2022. These students have shown remarkable res re re resolve in combating the difficulties and challenges that occurred during this pandemic, but yet they triumphed. So we are so pleased to be honoring them today and that you are here to join us. We do want to give special recognition to some folks who made this all possible. I want to give a shout out to uh, Stacy Clayton. She is the Director of Community Relations at Wayne State University. She was so instrumental in helping us get the keynote speaker as well as uh, getting us connected to the IT department. So Stacy, right off the top, I want to say thank you. In addition to that, um, during this pandemic, not only did the world see a lot of strife, so did our students. And um, even though they persevered, many had some challenges. So in memoriam, one of our students passed away and I do want to um, celebrate her life and say blessed travels. Kiana House, she was a mother uh, and she passed on recently after um, childbirth complications. I also wanna give a shout out to one of our former teachers. She was beloved, uh, Barbara Johnson. She was um, an ELA and social studies teachers with our program and we loved her and we will miss her. But now on with the show. Again, I welcome you and I want to bring up our first speaker, which is our illustrious director and founder, Professor Daphne N. Terry. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, as she said, I am Professor Daphne N. Terry, the founder and director of Wayne State University, another chance, which is in its 14th year. It's entering its 14th year, and that's wonderful. The program started in 2009, and we have enrolled close to 3,800 Metro Detroit residents, an outstanding number. Again, welcome to the first virtual Wayne State University, another chance graduation exercise. I want to give a very special welcome to our new graduates and to assure all of you that despite the disruptions of the pandemic, which is still here with us, we remain strong, resilient, and forward-looking. I also extend a warm welcome to faculty and staff, family members, and visitors. Congratulations to each and every one of you graduates. This is a day of accomplishment of success, of celebration. You have done what you think you could not do. You have worked hard to get here. So enjoy this day for all that it is worth. For all of you graduates, today is the beginning of a new journey. Some of you will enroll in college to advance your academic training, as many others in the past have done. And 
I hope you're considering Wayne State University. Some of you will go on to vocational school, and many of you will enter the world of work. Even if you have, even if you live here and simply return to a job you've had, you're starting a new journey. You are starting a new journey because this milestone, getting your GED, has changed you. It has broadened your horizons, and if nothing else, it has prepared you for new challenges. Today, as we celebrate your accomplishment, I would like to ask you to take a moment and think of how you got to this point. Each of you has followed your own path and has your story of how you got here. What was your path to this accomplishment, this moment? There are many answers to that question as there are graduates in this room. But I will venture a guess that most of you share an important trait that has helped you achieve the success of your journey today. And the word is perseverance. We all need that. You did not get here by getting uh, quitting when things got rough. You did not quit when your studies got hard or other obligations crept in. When the pandemic forced everyone in the world to stop and change, forced you and your teachers to pivot from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual learning, you stayed adapted. Uh, you stayed and adapted to digital learning. You achieved your goal through what? Sheer determination, courage, and progressive thinking in spite of the challenges. No one can su succeed by talent alone or intelligence or connections or even a diploma. You must persevere and push and fail, get up, start again. This is the only way you will succeed. And that's why we gave you another chance at WSU, another chance. There's a story of the mythical Greek hero named Hercules, who while traveling on a journey comes to a crossroad. He looks to his right and then to his left. He must decide which direction to take on his journey, which is really an allegory for life. To his left is the path of pleasure and ease. To his right is the path of work and virtue. The path of pleasure is tempting, but Hercules chooses the path of work. It is the harder path, but the rewards are greater. They are greater because they are earned through hard work, perseverance, and virtue. The harder the road is, the better, um, the, better the road even when that road twists and turns in ways you never anticipated or, or it brings you to places you never dreamed of or um, planned. Having a GED diploma in hand does not mean your education is complete. As Socrates said, education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. You've closed books for the moment, but you've expanded your classroom. Class should be in session for the rest of your days. To leave, is to learn. And you know how to do this. You've proven it by being here today. Do it with joy, do it with gener um, energy, and also courage. Learning is how you change yourself. And that is the most critical step if we are to become part of something bigger than ourselves. That is how you can embrace the challenges, is the first step towards making change happen. Whatever path you take, in your occupation, your careers, your vocation, we hope you hold on to your curiosity, your persistence, and your passion for learning. Congratulations to all our graduates. In closing, I want to give a shout out to our founders and sponsors. We extend our gratitude for continued support of WSU Another Chance to the Michigan Department of Education Talent Investment Agency, Dollar General Foundation, Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan, the Beulah Friedman Foundation, Junior League of Michigan, and of course, Wayne State University African American Studies Department. Finally, I want to share my appreciation and gratitude for the diligent, efficient, and capable faculty and staff that gives credence and vitality 
to WSU another chance year in, year out. I congratulate my assistant director, Ms. Alicia Williams for her tenacity and strong commitment to the ongoing success of the program and her administrative assistant, Marlene Povos. I will take just one more minute to thank the faculty individually. That includes Ms. Linda Austin, Mr. James Blanton, our longest serving instructor. Thank you, James. Dr. Linda Elam, Mrs. Clarissa Love, Mr. Mohammed and Sarah Ward. Thank you. Thank you, Professor and Terry. Um, I call these students our COVID-19 pandems, pandemic students, our, the graduates. They have persevered through unprecedented times. Never in our history or in our lifetimes have we ever been confronted with the devastation of a pandemic. No one knew what to do. Everything was just changing all of a sudden from being active and social to now being isolated. We no longer could come to a classroom for studies. Now we found ourselves having to use our telephones as well as our computers to do online learning. This was a real challenge for most of our students because everything just converted over in a snap. We went from classes to online in a week's time and the students had to make the adjustment and they did. These are the stories and the representatives of our student body celebrating the graduates of 2020, 2021, and 2022. I first call Jasmine Adams, 2020 graduate. Good morning. Thank you, Ms. Williams. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> First, I would like to thank everybody and everyone that that involved that was involved with me. We're sorry for the technical difficulties. Jasmine is on mute. Um, hopefully we can bring her back up. Come off of mute, Jasmine. You're on mute. Hear me now? Can you hear me now? Sorry about that. <laughs> um, well, what I was saying was, um, I have very, very high dreams and high hopes for myself. And I, I really didn't think that I was going to get far in life without at least, you know, my GED or a high school diploma. Um, I take the year of 2020 as a win-win, win or lose type of situation. You know, we lost a lot of family members, a lot of friends due to the pandemic. Um, and some people lost their, you know, their way of sight losing jobs, homes, just a lot of things was going on and stopping us. For instance, I thought that since I had it, I was working at Amazon and I thought since I was working that it was a good time for me to go back to school. I started school in January. By March 13th, the pandemic hit. So that, that was taken away from me once again. And then my job was taken away from me. And then I had to just start all over again, but I never lost sight. I never lost hope. Um, and I just continued, I kept going, I didn't stop. And I want everybody to know this is not the end. This is only the beginning. And I want you all to continue to grow, continue to go. This is our ticket to getting us to the next level. You know, this is what you need in order to start college or to even join the military or to even do certain little things to get a certificate. You need this. So this is something big and something major that we we had to have. And I'm thankful that I finally got it. I'm thankful that you all conquered what you had to go through and that you all got it. And 
I just want to say congratulations. And again, thank you to everyone who has something to do or were, were involved with this. Because without you all, I knew for a fact that I wouldn't be where I am today. And actually, <laughs> December, I will be graduating from um, dental assistant school. I am attending Dorsey right now. Uh, I start my last um, semester with them Monday, which is a six-week little program, six-week the, well, the remainder of the program is six weeks, but um, I'll be done soon with that as well. And I'll have another graduation to go to. So, like I say, keep going. It's just opening many doors and I'm going to further my education as long as I can. Thank you, Miss Williams. Wonderful. Thank you, Jasmine. Jasmine is representing her class 2022, tw excuse me, 2020. I have to say I'm so very proud of her and all the graduates of that particular year. Again, they were the ones who uh, were in school and were hit by the very beginning of the pandemic. Another student who was representing 2020, and I'm very proud of her, coming on next will be Kyla Pippin Price. So let's welcome Kyla. Hello. Hello, everyone. Am I, am I able to be heard? Can you hear me? Perfect. Okay. Good morning, graduates, families, faculty, friends of the 2020 through 2022 graduates. My name is Kyla Pippin Price, and as Ms. Williams said, I am a 2020 graduate. This has been a very rough <laughs> journey, as we all know, with the pandemic and everything going on lockdown, things have been quite, quite stressful, as you can imagine. Um, my personal journey is I began with the Wayne State Another Chance program in 2020 and was going through quite well, actually, at completing science and English and social studies. Until I got to math, that's where my difficulty began, as I'm sure I share the struggle with many others. I studied day after day, long nights and everything, and it seemed to get no easier. When taking, finally getting the courage to take the practice exam, I missed by a mere two points, and it was disheartening and discouraging, as probably uh, others have also gone through and experienced. And during that time of trying to rebuild the courage to continue and retake that test, we ended up going into lockdown, so I was unable to. It felt that many trials and tribulations were just coming in blow after blow, and to no avail of my own, I wasn't able to overcome them. Luckily, though, I ended up being able to have another chance to take the practice test again and ended up successfully passing. And then I went on to pass the official math exam. It took a lot of determination, a lot of patience and practice and time and a lot of support from family and friends and Miss Williams and all of the other teachers within this program in order to help me and push me against that barrier that stopped me from being able to see my full potential in order to complete the exams, all of them, in the entirety of the program in itself. But thankfully, with the, with everything, all the support given to me, I was able to finally get over my anxiety and successfully pass the exams, even if it was only by two points again, which actually happened. And now I can thankfully say that I am a student at Schoolcraft College with a 3.4 GPA. I'm enjoying college life, actually. It's quite fun and now that I've you know gotten over the fears and the like well, that's all it is really it's a fear of you know being stuck because that's something that you know many of us have been through already and gone through and that we made it through as we all stand here today as graduates of the program and we are moving forward in life with hopefully much less anxiety than what we began with. I am emotional light sometimes. It 
really was a difficult journey. And I hope that, you know, my story and everyone else's stories of who have overcome their trials and tribulations can encourage everyone in this program or who have yet to complete this program to finally get over their anxiousness and continue in their life journey. Because once you get past the fear of what you have currently, it does get more and you can look back and take a conclude with saying thank you. And to everyone, congratulations. It's been a really fun journey. And, you know, I'm excited to be doing this all over again with college. <laughs> but thank you so much to Ms. Williams and to everyone else. And congratulations and good luck to everyone. Yay! Thank you, Kyla. <laughs> She's being a little modest. She's in the culinary arts program, and she is just doing very successfully well. I will say that of both of our 2020 graduates, they did not hesitate to move forward, enroll in a college training, and are progressing to the point of graduation. We are so proud of them. And I think they're very proud of themselves because they are persevering and their GPAs both are outstanding, they're working, and they have seen what the power of a high school equivalency diploma can do. Our next speaker will be representing the class of 2021. Now, they too still, we're all still in that pandemic. So I call all of these my COVID-19 pandemic graduates. And with that, again, these students have faced a lot of uh, tribulations and um, un uh, 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 challenges due to this pandemic and all as the world has. But it made it even a little bit more complicated for them because many of them found themselves as being teachers to their children who are at home now, as well as trying to go to work in addition to going to school. So I really cannot stress enough how much we want to honor these students for their determination, tenacity, and perseverance. Next up is 2021 graduate, Amanda Johnson. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And thanks for having me today. I'm so excited. One thing for sure is never too late to go back to school. It is never too late to pursue your dreams. Wayne State, another chance GED program was a blessing in my life last year, 2021. During the pandemic, all I wanted to do was keep my children safe and stay healthy. I enrolled in another chance virtually. And in January, Received my GED May 7th, 2021. Going to school with two children at home, running around in the background, that was not easy. Classes were at six, and I still had to have dinner ready and cook by then. As a stay-at-home mother, I've always wanted to work from home. You know, prior to receiving my GED, I've been offered great opportunities only to be let down because they couldn't verify my education. Fast forward 2022, here I am being offered many positions of great pay because I now have a diploma. I'm enrolled in college at OCC pursuing my dreams, still virtual and still with my babies in the background. For all of us pandemic graduates, we worked hard, you guys, and we did it. And a big special shout out goes to Miss Williams. She's my mentor throughout this whole journey to this day. And another shout out goes to Mr. Blanton. He helped me with that, pass that math test. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, Wayne State, for this opportunity. And you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, she's going to make me cry. <laughs> They're all like my children, just to see them in their success and their glory, because they didn't realize that they could do this. And they were strong and they triumphed. Uh, our next is. Our students, again, our COVID-19 graduates, are, is the class of 2022. These are our most recent graduates. They have worked hard and they were determined. This group, I would say, was extra determined. I still have a few students that are waiting to take one test, and unfortunately, it just wasn't happening at the point of this ceremony, but they will be honored as well as they will have the opportunity to participate in next year's graduation ceremony. 
So for the 2022 graduates, I would like to bring up to the stage our first speaker, Deontay Lee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, again, good morning, everyone. I'm here. I'm a little nervous, but we got this. Um, I'm a 2022 graduate. I did something that I never thought that I would do or I did, well, I didn't expect to do, and that's get my GED. Um, a little backstory is I dropped out of school at the age of 15. I had some uh, truancy issues and um, it was something that I always wanted to finish school, but it's something that I just put on the back burner. And um, I attempted to go after dropping out, I attempted to go to three different high school completion uh, programs. Um, one of them ended up closing down in the middle of us, you know, going to school in the middle of the school year. Uh, the second one I went to, uh, the principal basically told me that I wasn't fit for the school. Um, and he was, you know, very impressed that I had completed three classes by the time anybody had finished one and throughout the whole school. So he felt like it wasn't for me. And then the third one I went to, it was, it was, it just wasn't, I didn't feel, I didn't like the atmosphere. I didn't like the school. So I just didn't go. Um, I'm a 30 year old man. I did this. Anybody can do it. You can do it. We did it as a team. It was everybody. It was hands, all hands on deck. Um, I do work a full-time job. So it was kind of a struggle going to school and going to work. Um, I got two young kids. So my, my daughter is two, my son is six. So that was another struggle. Um, trying to make a home, picking kids up from daycare, picking my son up from school, making it home in time to help my wife prepare dinner or just to do you know normal things before class with a, a small window. I had about an hour, you know, before class start, you know, by the time I made it home. So that was another struggle. Um, being a husband, just trying to find time between class and kids and work to just watch a simple movie with my wife, you know, without falling asleep because I was exhausted. Um, in the middle of this, my mom had surgery, um, knee surgery. So I can remember a time going to her house with me and my siblings, we took turns, you know, helping care for her because she couldn't really walk because she had knee surgery. And, um, I remember a time going there and working just on her couch with my laptop, just knocking this out. You know, I, I'm like, it was, I was determined I had to do it. And, um, another thing I got three dogs, I got five chickens, I got two turtles. So I got animals that I had to care for in between class or, you know, when I get off work or whatever, that was, you know, another challenge that, you know, I'm sure others, we all went through. Um, late night studies, studying before class. I had class at six, you know, 6 p.m. So studying before class or studying after class or doing homework to make sure that I understand the work um, was, you know, more challenges that was brought upon us, you know, doing this online. Um, I knew it was a journey that I had to finish because I was I was determined and I was ready to do it. It was on my time and I'm just excited and I'm happy that I finally stepped up and did it um, so that I can follow through with my dream of being going to nursing school. It was a dream I had since I was 18 years old. So I'm just excited that now I can go to nursing school because I had this diploma and I can further my education. The pandemic, man, it took a lot out of us. Like it was it was a struggle going to school, everything was online. It's something I'm not used to. I'm used to sitting down at a table or having a teacher, you know, so doing it on, on the internet was definitely something different with my kids in the background yelling and running around and my dogs barking and doing crazy stuff. It was just, it was, it was definitely a struggle, but we definitely went the, mile, the, the whole mile and we got it done. Lastly, I definitely want to uh, shout out the class of 22, well, all the graduates, but class of 2022, especially because we worked, we all worked hard, but we worked hard. We helped each other out. You know, we, we just knocked it out the park and we, we got this. Um, we all made a lot of sacrifices and we pushed through and we made it to the finish line. So thanks again, to everyone that had anything to do with this and us getting our, or us graduating. So thank you. Thank you, Deontay. And this is why we love these students. I mean, they persevere under the most extreme circumstances. They have families, they have jobs, uh, and but they still showed up. They still showed up 
And what's remarkable is that when they move on to higher ed, they do exceptionally well, much greater uh, GPAs than they could have ever imagined. So I am very proud of every last one of them and those that are to come. Next, our second representative of the class of 2022, Tisha Holmes. We welcome you, Tisha. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone and staff and fellow graduates. My name is Tisha Holmes. I started this program in September of 2021. Um, it was definitely a journey for me. Um, I have tried over the past 15 years, different programs. This program just fit. They was patient. They was understanding. Um, Miss Miss Ward, Mr. Blanton, even Miss Williams. I called them every time I took a test. I was nervous, but I called them before and after um, every test. It was definitely a journey working, going to school with my and having children. Um, but I was able, the job that I have, um, I do home health care. So I was able to be at work and go to school online. So that was a blessing for me um, just to be able to do it online while I was at work. And my kids was definitely supportive. They let me study when I had to. Um, I just want to thank everybody, everybody, because this was very a tough journey for me. I'm about to cry. But I work so hard for it. I work so hard for it. I'm very proud of myself. I'm very proud that I was able to do it. And I just want to thank everybody. And I do start school in the fall for RN. And I'm so excited, so excited. And I will transfer to, I'm starting at Wayne's um, WC3, and then I will transfer to Wayne State. So I will finish at Wayne State for registered nurse. So I just want to say thank you, Miss Miss Williams, Miss Ward, Mr. Blanton. I really love y'all. And um, Miss Williams, I would definitely be calling you. <laughs> but thank you guys. I love this program. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Tisha. You are just fabulous. I'm telling you, these students are fabulous and they There's a misnomer about what the GED uh, student looks like. There's a tremendous misnomer. And as you can see, as you've seen for yourself, these are all fabulous people. They are fabulous. They're hardworking. And they do persevere and triumph over so many obstacles and barriers that many of us would just not pursue. So I, I recognize and celebrate all of you all. You all did wonderfully. You're fabulous. Well done, you guys. Well done. Again, these are my pandemic graduates, uh, and we definitely thank them and celebrate them. But as we move forward, I have someone else I want to thank. I want to thank our keynote speaker for coming forth and saying, absolutely, I will certainly provide a speech and address the 2020 through 2022 graduates. Our next speaker is a congressional candidate. She is a phenomenal woman, and we are so appreciative to have her. Sherry Gay Dagnogo is currently an at-large member of Detroit Public Schools upon a uh, Board of Education, excuse me, upon ending her final term as state representative of Michigan's 8th District due to term limits. She is also the congressional candidate for the 13th Congressional District. So folks, make sure you get out there and vote. It is so important. Get out there and vote. As state representative, she was the first woman to serve as chair of the Michigan Legislative Detroit Caucus and the first Urban Education Advisory Chair. She also served as executive vice chair of the Michigan Legislative Black Caucus, vice chair of financial services, and on the insurance and families first and seniors committees. She has become known as a leader 
that never backs down from a fight for justice. She was nominated as Legislator of the Year and recognized by her colleagues and MIRS News as an effective leader and one of the most prolific speakers of Michigan's legislature. Gay Dagnogo has sponsored numerous key policies signed into law. However, her greatest legacy was the passage of Michigan's Clean Slate and Good Moral Characters Law. She is an educational leader with a Bachelor of Science and Master of Education in Instructional Technology from Wayne State University, a former Detroit Public School science teacher with extensive community organizing experience. She recently worked with members of the Detroit Caucus to fight and protect African-American representation in Michigan and Washington, filing lawsuits against Michigan Independent Redistricting Commission in violation of the Voting Rights Act. Sherry Gay Dagnogo is a lifelong resident of the city of Detroit and has a host of awards and honors based on her tireless service to the citizens of Metro Detroit and the state of Michigan. We truly applaud her as being a native Detroiter, a Wayne State University alum, teacher, a political force, a trailblazing woman of color and inspiration to us all. I am proud to introduce congressional candidate, Sherry Gay Dagnogo. Thank you so much, uh, Ms. Williams, I, Dr. Williams. I, I appreciate um, that amazing introduction. I am so honored and truly wish that um, we could be in person together. Um, I've done a number of commencement speeches this summer uh, for our high school, for Wayne County Community College, but I am so proud today that I am joining our Wayne State Warriors. Uh, I am Sherry Gay Danielgo, and I want to personally thank my friend Stacy Clayton uh, in Government Affairs at Wayne State University for, first of all, recommending me to be your com commencement speaker, uh, and to Dr. Alicia Williams for allowing me to join you all today. I'm so proud um, to be a Wayne State University graduate and to celebrate each of you which have championed the most tumultuous two years ever. The graduating classes of 2020 and 2021 and 2022, you are to be commended for your steadfastness, your perseverance, and reaching your goals despite the enormous loss that we all have experienced throughout this pandemic. I, I really don't think that I needed to say much of anything after listening to the heartfelt messages that have come from Jasmine, from Kyla, Amanda, Deontay, uh, and Tisha. I, I salute each of you for knowing what we've come through, but more than that, knowing where you're going. Um, if it were easy, everybody would do it, but I want you to know today that you serve as an example of the another chance GED program, just how we should reimagine education throughout our entire state and throughout our entire country, making sure that programs exist like this to give people hope and an opportunity to pick up their lives wherever they left off to know that there is in fact a lifeline that exists in the heart of the city of Detroit through Wayne State University. And so I salute you I celebrate you and I'm thankful. I'm thankful that this program exists. Uh, and certainly uh, knowing the education uh, impact that you're having at Wayne State University, hopefully this sends a message um, to the state of Michigan and those on the higher education uh, committee to realize why uh, urban communities need more investment in education to ensure that programs like this will give our residents who have not graduated from high school an opportunity to complete uh, their GED and then ultimately go on to, as I heard, uh, nursing programs, go on to uh, uh, two-year degree programs like Wayne County Community College, uh, of which many of my families um, have attended uh, Wayne County Community College as well. 
Um, I heard so many goals that have been outlined, but I'm really, really proud to know that you all have taken on the mission of Wayne State University right in the heart of the city of Detroit and championed your goals, your dreams, and to not give up. And seeing the children that are with you today uh, for this graduation, you're sending a message to them that says education is important no matter how long it takes you to get it, you don't give up. I often tell people I went to so many schools in Michigan. I even went to the UP um, initially uh, in Hancock and Houghton, Michigan uh, at, at Finlandia University is called now, but back then it was called SUMI. But nonetheless, I ultimately received my master's, my bachelor's and my master's from Wayne State University. Who could have thought uh, that someone who struggled to actually get their associates first and then to get a four-year degree and then to get a master's degree could become a teacher and inspire others. I was out shopping yesterday uh, for resources for my seniors and I ran into one of my students and he had his mask on and he said, are you Miss D? I, I, no, no, he said, are you, a, are you a teacher? I said, I used to be. He said, you were my teacher. And hearing the love and adoration that many of you expressed this morning for Ms. Williams and all of those who have participated in this program, that's what it's all about. Us not looking down on anyone, but inspiring each other to draw within, from within the greatness that already resides inside. And so I'm proud uh, to let you know that it wasn't easy for me either. either. Um, it, it was tough uh, initially. And I heard one of the graduates talk about those math classes. Please know uh, that trigonometry and calculus was not easy for me. Physics was not easy for me, uh, but I'm proud that I persevered nonetheless uh, and was able to get uh, my bachelor's of science and then my master's in instructional technology to go on and to teach science to our young people, many of which I see uh, either virtually or in person. And so to go on from there and to now serve as a Detroit school board member, as a former legislator, and yes, as a candidate for Congress in Michigan's 13th Congressional District. So know that whatever your goals, whatever your desires are, the sky is the limit. And yes, I am too a product of Detroit public schools. Your perseverance in the face of adversity, virtual learning modalities, loss, hopelessness, sickness, and even death of some of your loved ones epitomize your fortitude and what we can look forward to in the next chapter of your lives. You've demonstrated the fidelity of Wayne State University's mission as they will create and advance knowledge, prepare a diverse student body to thrive and positively impact local and global communities. Because of you, more residents will be inspired to reach for that second chance and know that it is attainable. I heard it mentioned earlier that it's never too late to go back and get your education. And I want you to know, I'm not just speaking from a reading or a book, but I'm speaking from personal experience. My mother, who is getting ready to hang out with me today, she's 83 now, uh, but we had a conversation one time and I knew that when we were younger, she wanted to get her associates uh, and she was going to Wayne County Community College. And so I actually took her once I learned that you could go back as a senior for free. And so imagine that my mom who once took me to school um, at five years old to enroll me in kindergarten, when I became an adult, I took her to Wayne County Community College campus and enrolled her in their program there. And at 75 years of age, she graduated with her associates. And so know that it is never too late and you all should serve as beacons of light for all of our residents who have not uh, received their high school uh, graduation uh, and have not received their GED and to know that it's possible. And you all look good in that green and white this morning as you're graduated and going on to the next chapter of your life. My sister who passed uh, in April uh, 14th of 2020 uh, due to COVID, uh, she's also, uh, uh, an alumni of Wayne County Community College and it started taking classes at Wayne State University uh, to go on to get her four-year degree. As fortunately, unfortunately as life would have it, uh, she is no longer with her, but her memory uh, stays with us forever. Uh, and so I'm just proud uh, to be among you and to know that you have achieved 
your goals, but we are part of, of an ecosystem. We are part of of not just in the scientific way, an economic ecosystem, an emotional ecosystem. And when something is, is broken in one area, uh, it is also broken or will impact other areas of our community, regardless of whether it's our physical infrastructure, whether it's our own mental health, whatever it is, as we all experienced it during the pandemic, if you're hurting, we're all hurting. But know that even through our pain, um, even through our struggle, uh, even through the great losses of life we've all experienced, and I heard of those who even lost jobs, you have still made it today. And I want you to remember that in anything that you champion next, always reflect back on this moment, uh, these two years that we've dealt with, and know that you've weathered the storm. I've talked in many graduations this year as a science teacher um, about the rock cycle and how we all have these minerals inside of us. And, and the rock cycle highlights how we can become great, how diamonds are made, the heat, the pressure, the glazing from gems that actually come forth by the same uh, a mineral that exists in the cores of the earth and the heat and the pressure. But but this point, I just want to reflect on for those of you who have ever gone to painting with a twist. I want to draw your attention to a very famous piece of artwork. Uh, it's called The Slave Ship, which was done in the 18th century by an artist by the name of J.W. Thomas, valued in millions right now. Uh, looks kind of gloomy, has a lot of grays, but has a lot of yellow sunshine too, hues, I should say. I'm not an artist. One of my friends, uh, Dr. Jocelyn Rainey, who I also graduated with from Wayne State uh, College of Education with, is an artist. She actually has um, a program called Finding Mona Lisa uh, 313, where she takes young people um, across the world. And we went to South Africa together to take young people for them to explore art, uh, not just from a textbook, not just looking at the Louvre online, but actually she's taking them to China, to Egypt, to South Africa, uh, you name it, she's done that. Uh, a girl just from the east side of Detroit, uh, but she's an excellent artist and she's taught me some things about color. When you go to painting with a twist, uh, you get kind of one of those prefabricated um, pieces of artwork where you kind of follow the numbers uh, or whatever. And and you, you get this, this, this hue of paint, various colors of paint. And, and the one thing we know from Roy G. Biv, the colors of the rainbow, uh, our red, our orange, our yellow, blue, our indigo, and greens, uh, you know that all colors, and when you start mixing them, they can make up other colors. Some colors are gray, as this painting um, describes and shows and highlights. Some colors are red and vibrant. Some colors are yellow. Some colors are blue. Some days as we wake up and it feels like Blue Monday. Uh, but today, like I woke up full of a burst of energy and sunshine because I knew I was going to be talking to you. Uh, those yellows, those oranges are exciting and they're energizing. Know that in our life, we have a toolkit of colors that throughout our life will be painting with a twist, a twist of pain, a twist of discouragement, a twist of loss, uh, a twist of peace. A, a, a twist of being stabbed in our back, a twist of being let down, a twist of being picked up, a, a, pick, a, a twist of feeling loved, a, a twist of feeling dejected, a, a twist of feeling rejected, a twist of feeling like you can't make it, a twist of people saying you can't make it, but a twist of God pulling you forward and let that you know that you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. And I want you to know that Whenever you go through anything in life, remember this painting. Remember the essence of what it means to paint our life's journey with every action that we take on in life. No matter the hue, no matter the color, no matter how vibrant or how faded, no matter how somber or how lighted, it all makes up the essence of who we are in our own Picasso, our own Rembrandt, um, our own Van Gogh, um, as we go throughout life's journey to become what we wish to become next. I celebrate you. I salute you. I'm proud of you. And I believe that you're going to continue to paint the corridors of your life with the most vibrant colors ever because you've made it through one of the most tough time of history in the history of our lives and in the history of the rest of our lives with this global pandemic. 
Congratulations, class of 2020, 2021, and 2022. Wayne State University, another chance GED program. I salute you. I am proud of you. And congratulations. The best is yet to come. Thank you all so much for allowing me to be a part of this momentous occasion. And I can't wait to share your entire link with the public uh, so that they can know that this program exists and they too uh, can sign up uh, to get their GED or their high school certificate if they have not yet attained it. God bless you and I love you. Uh, go on and make life great. Wow. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. She got my vote. <laughs> I do appreciate her stepping up and coming to celebrate with us. She is fabulous. So if nothing else, you kind of see where her heart, her spirit is. And that is what a good leader is, is needed, is necessary and needed to be a good leader. So please go out and vote. Next, we want to introduce the illustrious staff of Wayne State University, another chance. These are the people that all put it, that put it all together. They're the ones who do all the tireless work with our students to make sure that our students are able to attain their GED. They work effortlessly because see, in my book, a teacher is born, not made. It has to be something that's deep down within your heart that recognizes the, 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 the importance of education. And for many of us minority groups, the only thing that's gonna pull us through is education. And these teachers believe that, they live it, they provide it, and they're there tirelessly. We spoke on Mr. Blanton because he is our longest serving teacher. He is one of the many teachers that volunteer their time. Even once we're out for summer, he's always willing to tutor students so that they will be prepared to come forth <clears throat> when this fall comes and pass that GED. So I'd like to present Mr. James Blanton. Thank you, Ms. Williams. As you heard, my name is James Blanton. I'm the math and science teacher. And I'd just like to congratulate all you students on this auspicious occasion today. And I want to let you know that this journey, you're just at a rest stop right now. You're gonna continue your journey to achieve your dreams. I'm a man of few words, but I'd like to leave you with this thought. Life is like a camera. Focus on what's important, capture the good times, develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, take another shot. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brand. He is our treasure. <laughs> he is definitely our treasure, my go-to teacher. Next is a, a wonderful woman who's been with us for a couple of years and we truly appreciate and love her. She's got a lot of tenacity. She's got a lot of, she's very vibracious, vi excuse me, vivacious. And she brings a lot of energy and passion to teaching. Next up, Linda Austin. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Ms. Williams, this is short, but I have to say to all of our students, you are so impressive this morning. Congratulations to all of you on a job well done. Thank you. Well, thank you, Ms. Austin. She's our ELA, English Language Arts and Social Studies teacher. Thank and you. We you. Really appreciate her. <laughs> Uh, next on our list, she's been with us before. She got ill. She came back, and we just love her. I mean, she uh, perseveres unto herself. She's had a lot of challenges that have occurred, but she's made them through and came through and worked with the students, and they love her. They do love her, and we are so fortunate to have her with us. Next is Dr. Linda Elam. Dr. Linda Elam. Good morning, everyone. 
I'm Dr. Linda Elam. I teach English and I teach social studies. And I'm just so proud to see some of my students have made that challenge and made sure that they were able to persevere. I just want to leave a quote from Maya Angelou. Lou, it says, if you are going down a road and don't like what's in front of you and look behind you and don't like what you see, get off that road and create a new path. And I'm telling you to do that. If you in the process of learning and developing, things don't work out well for you, change the course. You have the ability to do that. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you, Dr. Elam, one of our many treasures. <laughs> Next up is one of our newer teachers. He just joined the Wayne State University um, family, Mr. William Howard Muhammad. Mr. William Howard Muhammad is the math and science teacher. He teaches at night in addition to teaching uh, a K-12 school during the day. So it has been our pleasure to have him work with us during the evening hours. So I guess he's not available at this time Hopefully we can bring them on later on, but right now we're going to move to uh, Tamara Lots. Tamara Lots. Good morning, Miss Lots. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. My name is Tamara Lots. I'm um, one of the newbies here at Wayne State University. I teach the ELA language arts. It has been such a pleasure and a privilege. And I would like to congratulate all of the 2020, 2021, and 2022 students. I want to say you made it. And in addition to what I've been hearing about perseverance, I want to use a very important um, word that you've transitioned and that you've moved. You're no longer stuck in a place, so to say. And so I would just like to leave this with you is to share your story. Because as you're sharing your story, the power of your testimony is helping someone else to become unstuck in the place that they are in, and it is allowing them to move forward. So again, congratulations. I'm so very proud of you. I'm proud to be a part of this movement. Don't stay stuck. Share your story and allow someone else to become unstuck. Bless you and have a wonderful life. Thank you. She's phenomenal as well. She just started with us. She came in in March and she just worked miracles. She was committed, dedicated, and we certainly appreciate her as being one of the Wayne State University Another Chance family. We want to bring up Sarah Ward. Sarah Ward is uh, one of our teachers, I met her, it's, it's, it's a funny story. I met Ms. Ward and she had contacted us about doing her uh, study for her PhD. And we got into this wonderful conversation. And I said, you know what? You just seem like an ideal candidate to be one of our teachers. You know, I know you're busy trying to pursue your, your, uh, 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 your, your PhD doctorate degree, but we would love to have you on board. And she came, and it has been phenomenal. We have seen a lot of our graduates that have come through her classroom. So now I present Sarah Ward. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And good morning, everyone. As Ms. Williams just indicated, I'm Sarah Ward, and I teach English and social studies. And what I'd like to say to the graduates this morning is congratulations on your well-deserved success and best wishes on your future endeavors. I am so happy to be part of the graduation this morning. And I wanna also say that I am so very proud of you. Again, congratulations. Thank you, uh, Sarah Ward. We certainly appreciate your contributions to Another Chance. Well, I would like to speak on our next candidate, she is an illustrious doctor and she of, of mathematics. 
And I'm going to tell you something. Math teachers come at a premium. They are not easy to find, especially math teachers that show a lot of care, a lot of uh, patience with our students or with any students for that fact. So I would like to announce Dr. Clarissa Love. Thank you, Ms. Williams. I am, as Ms. Williams has stated, Dr. Clarissa Love. I teach math and science here. And I want to um, state a quote from Vince Lombardi. He says that perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. So I wish you great luck and much success as you chase, chase excellence in reaching your future endeavors. Congratulations to all graduates. Thank you, Dr. Love. She has been just a wonderful addition to our new uh, our Wayne State University Another Chance family. Uh, I'd be remiss, again, not to mention Mr. Uh, William Howard Muhammad. Again, he is new to the Wayne State family. He um, is the math and science teacher, especially for the evening. So he's not able to join us, but I do thank him for his service and for his time. The students love him and he's he, a job well done. Thank you, Mr. William Howard Muhammad. Next, I would like to introduce another person who is the glue. She helps me when <laughs> I need assistance in calling students and uh, getting information to the teachers, and she's a big part of the Wayne State family. She's brand new to our family, and we certainly appreciate her. Marlena Provost. She's the data uh, uh, office specialist, and we certainly welcome you. Congratulations, to I'm Marlena Provost, and I work as Mrs. Williams' assistant, the data management technician. And I just want to say how happy I am to be a part of this program. I've been with Wayne State for several years in different positions, but I never knew about this program. And when I did find about it and apply for it, I was so thrilled to meet Mrs. Williams, who I think she gives 500% to this program and to help you all get to where you are today. Um, you probably have received phone calls, emails, texts, maybe sometimes. <laughs> repeatedly for me and sometimes in error, but all of it was out of concern and just to help you get to where you are. So more importantly, this is about you, your how you all reach where you are today. And to all of you, 2020, 21, 22 graduates, I want to personally from my heart congratulate you because I think this is a wonderful program but for you to stick with it and to come where you are today is amazing. So keep it going and stay focused and Success, much success to you all. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, staff of Wayne State University, Another Chance. They're a wonderful group of people. They're dedicated, they're committed, they work hard to ensuring the success of our students. Uh, I, I really do thank all of you for being here today and um, uh, honoring our graduates. So next we're gonna show all of our graduates as we move towards uh, the, the commencement service of bringing each graduate on. These are our 20, 21, 22, and honorable mention students. As you can see, some of the students weren't able to join us, but we are still very proud of them and we wish them the best as they move forward on their journeys. Congratulations, 20, 21, 22, and honorable mention students. Well, we've come to the, the main event of the program, and that is introducing our graduates. I can't say enough about them. These are hardworking, wonderful individuals that have persevered 
and made it through the storm. They are all beginning to pursue uh, other areas of um, careers and higher ed. So as again, we're going to first take a break, bring up all of the students' names, and then we will move forward to introducing each one. Thank you much.
We're back. Thank you for that brief intermission. That was to let you know about our contact information. So if anyone interested in enrolling in classes, you can definitely do so. And I do want to let it be known that even though many of you are joining us live, you can go to that same website and watch the video at a later date. It will be at that site indefinitely. So for those who aren't able to join us, you can watch the live stream video of this celebration of our 2020 through 2022 graduates. So now on for the main event, introducing our graduates uh, of 2020 through 2022. We will first look at those graduates who uh, are from the class of 2020. First up, you've already met her, and she's back again, Jasmine Adams. Hello. Hello. Hi, Jazz. And what year did you graduate? Class of 2020. Can you hear me? Yes, it's a little, um, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties. Ms. Williams, can you hear me? Yes, I can. And what is your, what are you doing now since you've graduated? Okay, we're having a little bit of difficulty. It seems that the, the frame is frozen. But again, Jasmine Adams is from the class of 2020. She is currently graduate, about to become a graduate of Dorsey School as a dental assistant. It was not long ago that Jazz told me that her plan is to eventually pursue becoming a dentist as well as going into the military. So we are wishing her well on her journey and knowing her, she will definitely succeed. She's hardworking, committed and dedicated. And we do appreciate her tenacity and hopefully she'll stay in contact with us along as she pursues her journey. So good luck, Jazz. We're with you and uh, Safe travels, blessed travels. You're in our hearts and minds, and we certainly are here cheering you on forever and a day. Next up, 2020 graduate, you've met her again, Kyla Pippin Price. Hello. Once again, I'm a 2020 graduate. Currently, I'm a culinary student at Schoolcraft College, projected to graduate within the next year or so. Um, I'm a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and I want to say thank you again to Ms. Williams, um, Mr. Blanton, and Dr. Clerk was also my English teacher who really inspired me a lot. So I just want to say thank you and congratulations and good luck to all of the other students here and thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Kyla. We wish you well on your journey. I'm so thank proud you. of you. And I know she's going to do big things and make some delicious food. <laughs> uh, there's several 2020 graduates that weren't able to make it with us, but we do want to give a shout out to them. Sadie McCree and Tyler Palmer. Now, that was the year when the pandemic hit. Again, this was right in the middle of our school year where we had classroom-based classes. And then <laughs> right there in March, we had to convert over to uh, online virtual classes because of the pandemic. Unfortunately, many of the students did not have the digital equipment to do so or felt very uncomfortable. So our graduate rate that year was not as uh, well, it's not as great as we would have liked, but no matter what, those students that did stay with it 
and were, were triumphant. So we certainly want to celebrate those graduates. Next, we want to go to the class of 2021. Narjis Abdur Rashid. Narjis Abdur Rashid was one of our 2020 graduates and um, she was one of the youngest members of our student body. Uh, she came in when she was 16 and she did a phenomenal job. And within that year, she did receive her uh, high school diploma. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to be here. I was a bit nervous, um, sweating a bit for multiple reasons. It's really hot, but also I'm nervous. Here's my certificate. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to uh, Wayne State University and other chants for giving me this opportunity because I was I was really worried about what I was going to do um, in terms of education when high school for me wasn't really working out. And I'm very happy that now I have an equivalency diploma. This is just a certificate. If you steal this, then it doesn't matter because it, I have another one. <laughs> I'd also like, I'd like to thank Miss Williams specifically who just personally kept uh, being very persistent about me getting stuff done. I'm a very bad procrastinator. And you know, if she wasn't there, pushing me along, I would not have actually gone through with uh, completing my education. And I'm now enrolled in Henry Ford Community College and I'm studying biology. Uh, I hope to become a zoologist specifically because I love working with animals. Um, this is really my passion is working with and learning about animals. And I'd like to also say thank you, a huge, huge thank you to my mother. She was there behind me the entire time, sometimes literally, mostly figuratively. And I'd also like to especially thank her for driving me places. I don't have my driver's license yet and she was my chaperone. Thank you, mom. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to lastly, but not least, thank somebody that I love even more than my mother. And this is my turtle. Check it out. Pretty sweet. Thank you. <laughs> What a hoot. You won't believe she was wanted to do a, a tap dance routine initially. <laughs> Instead, we get the turtle. <laughs> we love you, Nargis, Dr. Sergeant Nargis, <laughs> and all the many titles that you hold. Oh, as you can see, she's a lot of fun. All right, next <laughs> class of 2021. You've already met her. She's dynamic, Amanda Johnson. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Class of 2021. I want to give a shout out to my biggest fans and my biggest supporters. My children, hey. Roxy and Devaria, Hi. and my grandmother, Cheryl Jones. Without them, I couldn't have did nothing. I swear. Thank you, you guys. I love you guys. Love you. Love you all. Thanks, you. Wayne State. Thank you, Wayne State. Congratulations, Thank you. Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, Amanda, for all your hard work. You are wonderful. Next on the list is another 2021 graduate, Desiree Perez. Hi, I am a 2021 graduate. I am a mom of three kids. Uh, my youngest is actually 11 weeks old. And uh, if it if it wasn't for them, I probably would have never went back. 
It was very hard. I quit school at 17, right before my senior year. Um, and I kept putting it off and putting it off. Oh, I'll go later. Oh, I'll go later. And then I had kids and I had a real reason to push me to graduate. I am currently enrolled in Henry Ford Community College. I am going to get my RN in labor and delivery. Love babies. Don't want no more though. <laughs> um, and I want to especially thank my mom. She She's really held my hand through the whole thing. Um, not only that, she's helped me with my kids so I could study or or um, take tests or I come over to my mom's house to take tests. So I really appreciate her help in all of it. And I just want to say congratulations to everybody. And we did it. We made it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Desiree. She's just beautiful. Thank you for all your hard work. We're so glad you you did it <laughs> and you can persevere as you move through your journey. Now, uh, there are several students of the class of 2021 that weren't able to join us today, but I would like to acknowledge them. Uh, first up is Mayer Al-Salimi. She's one of our graduates. Anika Collins, Mirzaya Garza, Ayet Garabi, and Sandra Louise. Again, congratulations, and we uh, celebrate you as you move forward on your journey. Next up, we would like to present the class of 2022. I first want to bring on Nia Cook. Nia Cook. Okay, Nia may not have arrived yet, but we'll bring her on at the end of the ceremony. You've already met her, Tisha Holmes. Hi, everyone. I just want to say thank you, everyone, to my mom, my sisters, my kids. I did it. I did it, y'all. I did it. I finally did it. And I'm so happy. Um, my dad, my brothers, and my family, I did it, y'all. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tish. <laughs> oh, yes, she did. <laughs> Next up, Deontay Lee. Oh, wow. Hey again, everyone. This is this is my family. This is who I did it for. Well, some of the folks that I did it for, and um, I'm a graduate in 2022, graduating class. Yeah, I did it. And um, nursing school here I come. Thank you. One thing Deontay did not mention is he's a postal worker as well. As well. So you might see him on your rock. <laughs> on his rock. <laughs> and the fact that he held down a job, he has a, a wife and family and children, is phenomenal. And it's always good to see a man pursue the dream. Because you know, our colleges are not always filled up with a lot of males. So to see that this was one of our males, who, uh, one of our African-American males, who was dedicated and committed and fulfilled the dream, we are so proud of you. It's a special shout out for our men. <laughs> Next, Vanessa Lee. All right. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Sophia Shelton. I'm a 2022 graduate. Um, I want to give a special thanks to Miss Williams who stayed on me and made sure I finished what everybody knew I was capable of. Um, to Mr. Blanton for being one of the best teachers I have ever encountered in my life at school. To my cousin, Kiana, who didn't make it to finish, but she was pursuing her dream. And to all of the graduates, it's not about who did it first. It's about who did it right. And we did it right. Thank you, Sophia. Congratulations. Yay. 
Okay, next is uh, Ketra Sykes Horton. I'm not sure if she's arrived yet, but if not, we can get her at the end of the ceremony. Uh, Alexis Thomas, she just started a new job. She could not be with us, but she did send a video recording. My name is Alexis Thomas. I'm a 2022 graduate, and I am currently attending Eastern Gateway Community College to become a teacher. We are so proud of Alexis, and we certainly need more teachers. So thank you, Alexis. Again, I would like to mention those that were not in attendance, but nevertheless, they were fabulous. They completed, and they're on their road to success. Nia Cook, Vanessa Lee, and Ketra Sykes Horton. Congratulations, ladies. Next, we would like to bring up what we call our honorable mentions. Again, these are students who are in the process of completing the GED exam. There are four parts to that exam, math, social studies, science, and English. The English test exam alone is two and a half hours, and the others are close to two hours. So, the tests are very challenging. They have certainly rolled up four years of high school into each one of these exams. They are not multiple choice. Majority of them are short answer um, essays and that there are a few multiple choice. So the students really have to be uh, 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 aware and knowledgeable of the subject matter in order to successfully pass. This is not an easy exam, especially as the new exam rolled out in 2014. In addition to that, students have to have some sort of basic computer skills class in order to take the exam. The exam is done solely on computer, whether it's now at home where you can do it or you can go into a certified testing center. So there are many challenges surrounding taking the test itself. Uh, so what we have done at another chance to try to combat some of those challenges is that we do provide a brief computer basics workshop at the beginning of each semester. So at least the students will be able to know how to navigate uh, these sites, whether it's the GED uh, 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 testing center uh, service site or whether it's other assessment testings that we do as well. So we do try to give them a computer basics class up front so they won't be as scared or unfamiliar with keyboarding. Uh, when it comes to computers, students have to have computers in order to test from home or be acquainted with them before they can go test at a testing center. So for those students that don't have computers, we do refer them to uh, Detroit Public Library where they can borrow a computer and they do so during the, the school year so that they can do their classwork as well as if they wanna take their GED test at home, they can utilize that. Uh, there are other uh, services, uh, affordable, uh, uh, the Affordable uh, Broadband Service Act that allows students to get internet access if they don't have uh, broadband service. So as a result of the pandemic, there are a lot of services out there that we have been able to utilize to help our students. And we are certainly appreciative and uh, it has helped them to move forward. Um, I want to now mention our honorable mentions. Again, these are students who are in the process of testing. They may have only one test left before they get their diploma. <clears throat> First up, we're going to show the video of Dustin Loftus. I am Dustin Loftus, an honorable mention. I have one class left to finish my diploma. After that, I wanna continue my education. Thank you. Thank you, Dustin. Uh, next up is Brianna Matthews. 
Hi, I'm Brianna Matthews. I'm a 2022 honorable mention. I have one last test and then I'll be joining my brother in nursing school. And who might your brother be? <laughs> Beyonce is my brother. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so it's a family affair. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> And Brianna, she's very tenacious. We really love her. She worked hard. She was in class while she was at work. So oftentimes she couldn't turn the camera on because <laughs> she was working, yeah. but she paid attention. She did the homework and here we have it. So we're, we're behind her and continue to wish her well as she moves towards her journey. And we'll see her next graduation with her cat and gown. <laughs> hey, celebrating her success. <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. <laughs> okay, and I'm not sure, but next up would be Andrea Gary. Andrea Gary. Okay. Andrea was not able to get here at this time, so I do want to again mention those who are not in attendance and they are honorable mentions, they have either passed anywhere from one to three parts of the GED exam. And in all honesty, most of them all have difficulty with math. So for those who have passed three, generally they have to still work on the math. So I want to indicate uh, those that we are celebrating, Andrea Gary, Teresa McBride, Tanisha Kelly, Larry McKinney, Jenna Odom Glenn, Andre Williams, and Miguel Williams. And again, these are students who only generally have one more test to take before they will have their high school equivalency diploma. Well, we have come to the end of our ceremony. I certainly appreciate you all staying with us to honor and celebrate our students. Again, we're going to show the list of our graduates, uh, excuse me, of our graduates, and then we're going to proceed to the conclusion of the program. Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two, and honorable mention students, congratulations. Job well done. Okay, this is our contact information. Again, this program has been a live stream. Uh, it's on our wayne.edu live site. It will be there indefinitely for your viewing pleasure. Also, anyone interested in registering for our upcoming fall semester, we do have online registration at this address, class.wayne.edu. AFAM studies, programs, another chance, slash registration. We are located in the Maccabees building at 5057 Woodward, Suite 11201, Detroit, Michigan, 
48201. You can call the office and leave a message if you're interested in registering at 313-577-9079, or you can reach out to us via email, anotherchance at wayne.edu or WSU another chance at Gmail. So as our program concludes, I do want to give acknowledgments to all of those who have helped us put this together. We acknowledge and appreciate the support of congressional candidate Sherry Gay Dagnogo. She's phenomenal. We certainly uh, thank her for supporting us and participating in this celebratory event. We also want to thank her assistant, Danielle Stephen Atara, who I conferred with on several occasions. And she was, she too was wonderful in helping us uh, uh, make this smooth, uh, uh, e make this event smooth for the Congresswoman. Stacey Clayton, Director of Community Relations. Stacey Clayton, Director of Community, Community Relations, Wayne State University. It was Stacy that suggested uh, congressional candidate Sherry Gay Dagnogo uh, to be our keynote speaker. And we were thrilled when she accepted. So a special shout out to Stacy Clayton. She also is the one who helped me be able to know how to, uh, to do a live stream event. So I thank her for all her suggestions and referrals. I want to thank Shannon Tucker, Systems Integrator, and Nicholas Denali, Senior Digital Director of Communications at VP Marketing and Communications, Wayne State University. It's Shannon who's been the tech behind all of this. He's the one who put this whole uh, digital show together, and he's our guy. So I really do appreciate Shannon, as well as uh, Nicholas, who referred me to Shannon to make this whole live event possible. I want to thank the Department of African American Studies and our interim department chair, Lisa Alexander at Wayne State University. We fall up under that. We are a sponsored program under that department and we appreciate their support throughout the years. We also want to thank the Wayne State University Another Chance teachers and staff, our funding sources, Michigan Department of Labor and Economic Opportunity, Dollar General, Beulah Friedman Foundation, and the Junior League of Michigan. And last but not least, we certainly want to thank Professor Daphne Interi. She is the director and founder of Wayne State University, Another Chance. More importantly, we want to thank the graduates and student body of Wayne State. And we want to thank all of you for joining us in this celebratory event. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Have a great summer.